the first electric cars appeared on the roads earlier than vehicles with an internal combustion engine. And it's no wonder that the electric car was the first to overcome the speed of 62 miles per hour on land in 1899. It was a model dubbed La Jamais Content. Nowadays, the title of the fastest production car is held by the Koenigsegg Agera RS, which has a speed of 278 miles per hour. The rise of the internal combustion technologies has suspended the development of electric cars for almost a century. And only in the last decade, the electric vehicles came again to the fore and began to claim the title of the fastest cars. So what are the main trumps of electric vehicles? Why are they actually able to challenge even the fastest supercars like Bugatti Chiron or already mentioned Koenigsegg Agera RS? The answer must be sought in the design of modern electric cars. Electric vehicles generate much more torque on the whole than ICE vehicles. That is important because torque is the main driving factor to move the vehicle forward. The power goes straight to the wheels for instant acceleration, making electric vehicles significantly quicker right from the start. So let's see what are the quickest electric vehicles right now. Our first choice is the Tesla Roadster. The company is positioning the second generation of Roadster as the quickest car in the world, with record-setting acceleration, range and performance. The official numbers look astonishing indeed. As Elon Musk said during the launch event, and as it's actually noted on Tesla's official website, the Roadster 2 will be able to boost from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds. Oh my God. Musk also said that all-wheel drive will be supplied as a standard option. With a three-electric motor powertrain, also known as the Plaid powertrain, the vehicle can develop an ultimate speed of more than 250 miles per hour. Thanks to the all-new 200 kilowatt hours battery pack, it can achieve a significant range of 620 miles on a full charge. The possible SpaceX package that will include about 10 small rocket thrusters will dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking and cornering. The vehicle is set to be delivered in 2021 and has a price of $200,000 for the standard version and $250,000 for the Founders series. The Croatian automotive startup Rimac Automobili is ready to enter the hypercar market with its all-electric hypercar C2. Powered by a four-motor drivetrain system for a 1,427 kilowatts power output and 1,696 pound-feet of instant torque, the vehicle accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.85 seconds and can reach a top speed of 258 miles per hour. As the company claims, the vehicle's full carbon fiber monocoque chassis is the biggest single carbon piece in the industry at the moment, with the full battery and powertrain integrated within the chassis. With a bonded carbon roof, it weighs less than 200 kilos. At the same time, the 120 kilowatt hours battery pack is an integrated structural element that contributes to the impressive torsional stiffness. It also provides a decent driving range of 340 miles on a full charge. What about a car that pretends to be even quicker than the Croatian concept? The Japanese company Aspark comes with its astonishing OWL model. This fully electric hypercar claims to be the quickest in the world with the ability to achieve 60 miles per hour in an incredible 1.69 seconds. This becomes possible thanks to four electric motors delivering a total output of 1,480 kilowatts and 1,475 pound-feet of torque. The 64 kilowatt-hours lithium-ion battery pack provides a possible range of 280 miles on a full charge. It's obviously less than Tesla's and Rimac's figures, but Aspark says that a battery with larger capacity could be available in the near future. The light body design is one of the main features of the Aspark Owl. All of the panels are carbon fiber reinforced plastic, 
and even a stainless steel frame in the roof is for extra support only and doesn't add much weight to the carbon fiber monocoque that weighs just 265 pounds. All these features could become a significant advantage at the turns as every extra pound has a bad effect on handling of a car. The world-known Italian design studio Pininfarina announced the limited production of an electric hypercar dubbed Battista. The company considers its own model as a revolution in luxury. This model, offered only in 150 examples, is equipped with a motor for each wheel. The total output of these four motors is up to 1,416 kilowatts and 1,696 pound-feet of torque. Inin Farina claims that it's good enough to achieve the 0 to 62 miles per hour boost in less than two seconds. All this performance is fed by a 120 kilowatt hours battery pack, which is capable of delivering 300 miles of range on a single charge. The Batista from Pinin Farina is expected to appear on the roads by the end of 2020. The Audi PB18 e-tron concept, which is positioned as an electric supercar, is coming to merge the layout of a coupe with the shape of a hatchback. There's not much detail regarding the Audi PB18, though we can expect three electric motors on the production version, one up front and two in the rear. They will produce a total 500 kilowatts output and 612 pound-feet of torque. An option for a brief 570 kilowatts boost is also promised. The German concept can reportedly achieve 60 miles per hour in less than two seconds. The Audi wireless charging system with its unique charging pad is the most distinctive option for the PB18. The 97 kilowatt hours battery pack with the 800 volt fast charging option that will refill the battery within 15 minutes can provide a range of 310 miles on a single charge. Audi plans to produce only 50 examples of PB18. British manufacturer Lotus has recently unveiled its first car developed from scratch since the company was sold to Chinese automotive group Geely. The production version of this electric hypercar, dubbed the Avija, will start in 2020. Only 130 examples will be produced, each for about $1.86 million. The Lotus Avija, with a four-electric motor powertrain, will be able to deliver 1,470 kilowatts total power output and 1,253 pound-feet of torque. The motors are powered by a 70 kilowatt hours battery pack with the ability to deliver about 250 miles of range. The battery can be recharged to 80% in just 12 minutes of charge time thanks to the newest charging technologies from Williams Advanced Engineering. This two-seater hypercar is able to speed up to 200 miles per hour. It needs less than three seconds to boost up to 60 miles per hour. Five special driving modes are available, letting the Avija adapt to different environments. The Draco Motors is another electric vehicle startup from California which describes its model as a four-passenger ultra-luxury supercar. It's equipped with four motors, two on each axle, providing a high-precise handling. The Draco GTE, which is built on a Fisker Karma chassis, is able to deliver about 895 kilowatts and 6,500 pound-feet of torque at the wheels to develop a top speed of 206 miles per hour. Powered by a 90 kilowatt hours high-performance battery pack, the estimated driving range will be about 250 miles on a single charge. The first production models will be supplied by the end of 2020. The Chinese automobile manufacturer NIO introduced its all-electric beast to the world in 2016, and since then, the hypercar has set records on various tracks. The NIO EP9 is equipped with four electric motors on each wheel, which deliver one megawatt total power output and 1,092 pound-feet of torque.
enabling the vehicle to hit 60 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds and develop a top speed of 195 miles per hour. The three-position active rear wing system, along with fixed aero features, allows the car to achieve twice the downforce of a Formula One car. The street-legal two-seat sports car can achieve 265 miles of range on a single charge. The Karma SC2 debuted alongside the company's new 2020 Rivero GTS. The company says this two-door luxury car is designed as a vision of its future vehicles. It's expected to deliver 820 kilowatts power output to hit 60 miles per hour in less than 1.9 seconds. The 120 kilowatt hours battery pack is designed to ensure a driving range of 350 miles. There are no more details at the moment, so we need to wait for a production model to compare all these astonishing specs with the real ones. Tesla also wants to use the three-motor Plaid powertrain for its flagship Model S by the end of 2020. It will boost the vehicle's performance and provide overall better handling. The Model S P100D with ludicrous mode has already managed to hit 60 miles per hour in just 2.28 seconds, and now it can have much faster acceleration time and set new records on the tracks. It's also possible a battery capacity increase, which will enable the vehicle to achieve a longer range on a full charge. These were some of the quickest electric vehicles that can astonish us with their unprecedented acceleration and driving range. Let us know which of them is your favorite one and stay with us for the next interesting videos.